Have you heard of the smart home? Supposedly, the smart home is part of this Jetsons-like future, a future where, yes, there are flying cars and robot assistants, and this sort of hyper-intelligent smart home uh, that's self-aware, a smart home that can anticipate your every need. Before you can think to yourself, I'd like some toast. The smart home is on the job. Just a warning, though. In this future, unfortunately, you will have to butter the toast yourself. Um, I'm, I'm, I apologize that the technology can only get so good. So all this sounds like some far off future, right? Some vision, some imaginary dream. Well, actually, no, it's actually here today. Uh, according to Parks Associates research, over 26% of us today have at least one smart home device in our homes. It's true. Smart speakers like the Amazon Echo are all the rage nowadays. The smart thermostat is the number one adopted smart home device. There are smart door locks, smart garage door openers, smart appliances, smart cameras. There are smart dishwashers. There are smart uh, vacuum cleaners for your cats to write on in your YouTube videos. All these smart devices are here today. Consumers are using them to positively impact their lives. Well, homeowners are at least. But what about home renters? What about the smart home for renters? What about smart apartments? After all, 37% of us today rent our homes. And that's a trend that's only projected to increase. It's a both a global and a US trend. So that brings me back to, well, what about the smart apartment? I is that a thing? I think an issue we've had is that multifamily, the rental market, has been traditionally slow to adopt technology, unfortunately. And a, a good example would be this, the, the metal key. Think about it. If you went to a hotel today, and you went and you got a room, and they handed you this, you'd probably pause for a second and you'd think, wow, did I time travel? Am I back in the 1950s? and you'd probably call up your local Marriott to see if they had a room. That's because we've come to expect a key card that works with an electronic smart lock in the hotel industry. Contrast that with multifamily. If you rent your home, more likely than not, you'll probably have this in your, in your pocket. So what are some of those barriers to the smart apartment? And by the way, what, it, what even is a smart apartment? What, what would that look like? Those are some of the questions that I've been thinking about over the years. I actually come from a, a smart home background. Uh, I've worked on smart door locks in the past. I've worked uh, for, for several years in the multifamily space as well. And I can tell you from experience that trying to put these two spaces together is frustrating, it's complex, it's difficult. However, recently, I think technology has matured to the point that I, I feel comfortable that we can, we can solve this problem. And that actually brings me to, to my project. The project I'd like to tell you about today is a project to develop a, a living, learning laboratory, if you will, a place where we can test out the Sparta apartment, where we can test, learn, iterate. That project, that laboratory, if you will, it will take the form of a multifamily, mixed use, a very modern development here in downtown Evansville, Indiana, which is a typical Midwestern city. It's a great place to test out something like that. Our goal is to work with the residents, and there will be residents living there, to work with them to learn what, what makes a smart apartment, what approaches resonate with the residents. They will be guinea pigs, and they'll know that. We'll be upfront about that. And our end goal is really to create a recipe, a model, if you will, of the smart apartment that we can replicate around the country. 
So, so how do you do that? What's, what's a good first step? Well, for us, it's to look at all of the stakeholders involved. And, and the number one stakeholder that we need to keep in mind, actually the gatekeeper to the multifamily, to the rental space, is the building owner. Think about it. If you rent today, you know that you don't own your appliances. You don't own that thermostat on your wall. You don't own your door lock on your door. You can't simply rip the thermostat off the wall. You can't simply take that door lock off the door and put on a smart door lock. At least you shouldn't, although some, some have tried to get around their building owner. Um, but that's not our approach. Our approach is to work with the building owner to meet the building owner's needs, to design something that meets their needs. So how, how do you do that? The question might be, what, what, what are the building owner's needs? Well, the building owner is, run, is running a business, so that's first and foremost. And they care about the security and safety of their residents. So our approach is going to be to increase their bottom line, to make it very attractive for them, and also to provide a, an environment that's a little less risky, a little more secure. A great use case for us is the vacant apartment. What if, when someone moves out, and the building owner in his or her system codes that apartment as unoccupied, what if it also kind of put the vacant apartment in a, a sort of uh, vacant mode, if you will? A mode where the smart thermostat went, went, got turned down a few degrees. A mode where, let's say the smart blinds shut, a mode where the, the smart lights turned off if they were on. The smart water heater could get turned off. And even the door lock, the smart door lock on the door could automatically rekey itself. Everything that I just mentioned represents tangible energy savings to the building owner. It represents productivity to the building owner. A maintenance person does not have to go physically to the apartment to make those changes. A maintenance owner does not have to pull the door lock off the door and rekey it. Everything I mentioned also represents increased security for the building. Think about it, if you have a smart apartment and it's in a vacant mode, if any of those devices get used, if the, anybody opens the door, well that smart apartment can alert the building owner to unauthorized access. So you, got, you start to get a sense of our approach here trying to make the smart apartment work for all stakeholders. We also don't want to forget the key stakeholder in all this, the end user, the resident. We want to work to empower the resident. We know from smart home research that consumers value in the smart home convenience, security, comfort, control, energy savings. And we want to try to deliver on that promise within the smart apartment. An interesting use case for us within the smart apartment for residents is how do we balance energy reduction in the apartment with comfort? Many of you may not be aware of this, but many utilities out there today will partner with customers in the hottest summer months when there's a lot of energy load to actually set back the thermostat a little bit. That approach is called demand response, and it's very valuable for utilities, but it actually sacrifices the comfort of the customer a little bit. What if with a smart apartment, you could, you could deliver on that demand response, you could set the thermostat back a little bit, but at the same time, what if you shut the smart blinds to, to block the heat of the sun? And what if you could turn on the smart ceiling fan and thereby kind of maintain the overall comfort of the resident. And what if, what if the thermostat or the HVAC system didn't have to deliver all of the needed reduction in demand? What if the smart water heater, the smart refrigerator also could contribute a little to the energy savings? Again, you see by thinking about outcomes and, taking in my, and keeping in mind the smart apartment as a system, how powerful it can be. 
Finally, we want to keep in mind sustainability. Within the smart apartment, we have an opportunity to build in from the ground floor sustainable energy solutions. How might rooftop solar fit into a, a smart apartment ecosystem? What about energy storage, like the Tesla Powerwall? What about electric vehicle charging? How can these emerging energy technologies play with the smart apartment? That's something we want to find out. And an inter interesting use case for us around sustainability is how can we impact lasting energy usage behavior change? What if, for example, you live in a building with a smart apartment and you've got rooftop solar, what if we allow you to see the energy that's being generated from the sun? It shows up in your app and you can, you can see that. Would you feel a greater sense of pride as a resident of that building? Would you feel a greater sense of responsibility to the environment? Could, could that alone impact a little bit of your energy footprint? Could we take it a step further? Could we give you awareness and insight into the energy footprint of your apartment itself and show you over time how much energy you're using? What if we also showed you your neighbors in the building and their energy footprint? Or take it a step further, what about the whole building? And what if you could take that whole building and see its energy footprint compared to other buildings around the city? We're hoping that some combination of these actions could result in a, in a nudge, if you will, a nudge towards a sustained behavioral change, a change that represents less energy usage. We could also choose to take us one step further and, and gamify the system. Could we, we, could we actually offer a reward to a resident, to all the residents? Uh, they could be challenged to whoever's the best energy saver of the month, uh, they get a free pizza, for example. We really believe that sustainable energy solutions can and should be a part of the smart apartment. So you can see that we need to take into account all the stakeholders that are part of the smart apartment ecosystem. Certainly the resident, the building owner is key. I've mentioned the utility as a, a key component. I haven't mentioned the city, but the local government is important as well. As a smart apartment, should be a part of a broader smart city strategy. Okay, so that's a big audacious goal. How do you accomplish that? Where do you start? Well, for me, I think of it like a journey, and it will be a journey. And on any journey, you just have to have the will to take the first step. And that's what we're trying to do here, is just take that first step. Nobody's saying it will be easy, and nobody's saying we'll get it right on the first try. We won't, and, and that's, that's okay. But I firmly believe that smart apartments are a big part of our future, and that's a future that will happen sooner or later. But I'm thrilled, actually, to be a part of making it happen sooner. Thank you.